Hi, my name is Lise Lefebvre. I'm a designer and the owner of Botanopia, based in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. At Botanopia, we design and create products for your plants. Uh, for every kind of plant lover, so you can add more products to your home and create beautiful decor using your plants. This is my craft therapy ID in collaboration with Tadan. Today, I'm going to show you how to make beautiful blueprints, cyanotypes, using the power of the sun and plants. I'll show you how to make it. You will need watercolor paper, thicker types, and of course, uh, the cyanotype chemicals, two different types. The first one is potassium ferricyanide, and you'll need uh, ferric ammonium citrates. The two mixed together become light sensitive. You'll need a foam brush, mixing cup, gloves, a stirring stick, and a glass contact frame, so just a piece of glass and a board, and of course plants, uh, fresh or dried, whatever you like, and a tray of water to rinse. You need to measure out equal amounts of the solution A and B and mix them together. From then on, they become light sensitive, so make sure you work under subdued light or artificial light, and only measure out what you're gonna need in one session. Now with your foam brush, you're gonna paint an even layer of the solution on top of your paper, and uh, it's up to you if you leave brush strokes or if you want to really have a super even layer um, play with the different effects and then when you're ready you want to dry the paper for about half an hour in a dark space so either in a dark room without daylight or inside a box for instance so a cardboard box and then you leave it to dry for about half an hour so you'll take your glass contact frames, your glass plates, and you will arrange your cards on it. And now as the creative part, where you'll get to play with different plants and um, composition. So the plants that you choose, they don't have to have specific properties. Uh, just think of the silhouette that they have. Think of the detail that they can give you. Cyanotypes allows you to see every single detail. So now I'm just pulling a few of those beautiful seeds from the dandelion and you'll be able to see those in the final result. So it's really, really sensitive. And what I find works best is something with a nice profile, a nice silhouette, not necessarily a showy color because you won't see the color of the plant in the end. So try to think of a nice composition using uh, plants that you like. So here I'm just using like really uh, grass from the side of the road and dandelions, you can find them everywhere. And then what also works really beautifully, I find, is poppies because the petals are really thin, so you will see the transparency through the glass. So if I unfold the, the petals like this, we'll see the beautiful transparency in the end. So then you'll need your glass plates and you sort of squish and smoosh everything down. And I like to use a couple of clothespins to make a nice tight sandwich. And now the magic ingredient, sunlight. So we're gonna take this outside in the sun to expose. So you're gonna to want to set it up in the sun with your work angled toward the sun. Now it's quite low in the sky, so I'll angle it a bit toward the sun. And you want to expose it for between five and 10 minutes. Uh, to start with, depending on the type of flowers that you're using, the time of the day, the month of the year, and then experiment with your results. So it's been about 10 minutes, and as you can see, the color has changed a little bit. It went from that bluish to a sort of golden or a brown, brown gray, I would say. And now it's time to rinse. So let's take it back inside. It's time to open up the glass and rinse the prints. So you simply remove the plants, and you can see already there's a color difference. And some plants you can only use once because they fall apart, but that's okay. And I'll just put them in a little tray of water to rinse out. So it's been about five minutes of rinsing, and now you can see that the parts that were underneath the flowers or the plants, they stayed white. And here you can see the beautiful transparency left over by the thin poppy uh, petals. So now that they're rinsed, I just need to let them uh, dry. So you can hang them up to dry and they will oxidize over the next couple of days. So the blue color will become even more intense. 
So this is the prism that we've just rendered. It needs to dry a bit more and then it will get darker blue as it oxidizes. These are examples I've made a couple of days ago and you can see they're slightly darker and that comes from the oxygen oxidation process. And you can see the type of transparency that you can get and the beautiful detailing that you can expect depending on the types of plants that you use. So I hope you're not excited to give it a try yourself at home. It's a really fun technique to do. Uh, also fun to do with children, as long as you have sunlight. Um, if you're looking for more details on the technique, we have a really uh, detailed explanation on our website at botanopia.com. And you can also leave your comments and questions uh, here on this video so we can reply to you. And if you're looking for the supplies that you need to create this uh, technique at home, we also have a very complete kit containing all the things that you need on our website botanopia.com as well. Thanks for watching.